Hey guys, Doomer Days here again. Uh, just going to show you my ETS uh, setup. It's pretty much the same. I mean, as far as the settings go uh, between one game to the other. Uh, but anyway, I'll go ahead and show it to you anyway. So, as before, uh, global, I set this to 4 on the pre rendered frames and turned off vertical sync. And then in your program settings, uh, select your Euro Truck Simulator uh, game and set your profile accordingly. Uh, my anisotropic filtering is at 16. An anti. Oh, I'm not even going to try to say that. I'm just too tired. Until <laughs> I is on. <laughs> Uh, your anti-sling mode uh, enhance the application setting. Uh, uh, I got the uh, anti-sling set to eight and transparency at eight x super sample. Uh, there's your pre-rendered frames at four. Power management at maximum performance. Uh, shader cache is on. Uh, off clamp. Uh, f uh, your fixed uh, filtering oh my god man quality <laughs> uh, texture uh, filtering trilinear optimization is set to own uh, your threaded optimization is set to auto and your vertical sync is off uh, these settings seems to work pretty good for me uh, I'll just kind of flip through them a little bit again uh, I mean you can play around with these settings and see what you get however like I said before I am not using the uh, NVIDIA inspector so uh, so I'm not using it I have it but I'm not using it at the moment and as before you only need to manage your 3D settings and then you're gonna go back through your config file uh, this one is from the ETS and same as before uh, all of these bloom settings I set to two. Um, come on down here. Color saturation is at three. You can play around that. Like I said, 2.5, 2.8, 3.24, 2, whatever. Just play around with it. See what you get. Um, your MLAA is off. HDR is set to uh, one, and your gamma is set to one. MSAA is 1 as well as MLAA is set to 0. You can play around with them as I said before. Um, it is DX9 is your renderer and pedestrians are on of course. Uh, traffic in here is set to 2. It's usually what I keep it at 2, 2.3, 4, 5, whatever and on further down of course your developer mode is set to one and let's see what else we got oh, and then your um, your uh, all your grass and and density and vegetables uh, vegetation is all set to two uh, console is set to one uh, for own uh, zero is off V-Sync is off as well as your texture detail is all set to uh, high there and every uh, so that should it's pretty much the same configuration f as ATS versus ETS and back and forth uh, I kind of play with the different settings just to see what what looks better but this setting looks really good on uh, ETS I mean it looks actually looks better I think and then of course uh, the NVIDIA our GeForce Experience uh, Euro Truck 2 uh, as before uh, anisotropic filtering anti uh, aliasing MLAA is off color correction is on depth of field is off uh, high dynamic range is on visibility ranges is high your mirror distance is high mirror quality is high mirror relative resolution is high uh, reflection detail is set to high resolution is 1920 by 1080 uh, my scaling is set to 400 secondary vehicle lights are on shadow quality is high shadow texturing is high sun shafts is on texture quality is high 
traffic headlights on and vegetation detail is high as well as weather quality is ultra sorry about the flashing of those pictures every time you select one of these they do that sorry about that we'll just go to one there that looks pretty good so anyway there's the settings for that guys on my nvidia uh, car are on my geforce experience settings and um once you get all of it set just save everything out and I went ahead and loaded the game so because on this one I've got a lot of mods and there's a lot of maps loaded uh, it is not it's not running on the 2.4 pro mods it's on the old version so on the 2.33 uh, version and then all the other maps that, that work with it are still working so at least until 135 drops I guess but anyway, um, also in my game log uh, right here, this is out of ATS. As you can see, uh, this is all the DLCs that the game provides. And then uh, here's the start of my mods that come in the that I have in my mod folder. And as you can see, none of them have any errors at all because uh, other than Dalton. Uh, the pipe uh, as Wombat says the pipe uh, map <laughs> anyway uh, and then you know some more uh, mods on down through here but everything is doesn't have any errors or nothing's missing or there's all the pictures files documentation it, it gets no errors so that's why I run a pretty clean game as far as that goes so you can see all the mods they don't have any errors so and that's both for ATS and ETS so we'll close that real quick and I'll go ahead and load up some uh, some screenshots for you sorry about that taking a little longer than I wanted so here's where we are right now this is where we're setting at right now I'll show you that here in a second in game this is in Romania as you see over here this is over here is my garage my truck is setting out here this is in Romania in Brasov, Brasov I guess that's how you say it and anyway but that's where we're setting at right now and I'm gonna close that one this is out near uh, what is it Hammerfest or Hammerfell whichever it's a pretty nice screenshot there that's another one there this is what the in-game graphics look like for me and uh, looking pretty good and then there's another shot and then there's my mirrors and my HUD and everything and it's all got aligned and everything is working fine and as well as in ETS so uh, so you saw the one in ATS it's the same mod basically just works with both games so there's that and then there's that shot that that uh, we took in ATS when I showed you the video earlier in that so there that that's over in LA that's with the, uh, reshade and sweet FX running and all that close that out that's just a few screenshots there and now that we have all that done and out of the way I'll show you what else I had in the uh, in the mod like for for borders that 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 go around the little mini map that you see up on the screen uh, this is a border here it's it's actually uh, 420 and then there's a, another border there that can go around it there's a yellow one pink one there's some roses around the corners uh, it's a, kind of a cayenne black uh, that's just that's a Skyrim border that's a real very very light border around it but it's very light it looks really nice there's kind of a tannish color I guess for the background of it and then this one is just if you don't want any border at all so I have that they are in my mod in my advisor mod so you know uh, if you wanted to change these out you can see that the name it sees see like right here it says no border so you would have to remove that file or that name right there if you look up in the upper where my mouse is up there in the upper uh, left corner you'll see that the file name is bcg2.dds and that's for every single one of them all you gotta do is just rename the one you want 
and then there you go you know uh, but keeping the others that you want to save intact or rename them or whatever but the file name definitely needs to be just be bcg2.dds uh, I can show that to you right quick in my uh, here like if you go to the material and go to the UI go to visor you'll see all these in there and my default one right now is just black it's no it's transparent there's no border or anything so if you wanted to say use I don't know this blue one then you would have to rename this one to keep it if you if you want to use it again and then just take off the name of the file and you'd have bcg2.dds replacing this one after you renamed it or kept it or whatever but anyway that was just <coughs> that was it's still a lot of borders and things that are work in progress really I don't even know if they'll even a lot of people don't like borders I don't think the borders really look that good I mean unless you got some really nice borders that look good that's fine but anyway enough about the uh, advisor or the borders or whatever so but anyway you, you get the gist of it that's another Skyrim one there so we'll minimize that and then uh, we'll go ahead and jump into the game here's the game there's where we just showed you the picture there there's where we are in Romania right now it's 601 a.m. so that's kinda what it looks like at 601 a.m. we are running reshade and Sweet FX along with the graphics pack RGM as well as uh, uh, next gen graphics and uh, I believe that's it uh, because you can put the RGM graphics pack under the next gen and the next gen graphics will go over the top of it I don't use the weather mod from the next gen uh, I only use the base and the vegetation or yeah the vegetation and then RGM is underneath it and then vegetation and then base and that's how I load it and this is what my graphics look like and then you know settings and everything and uh, right now since the reshade and everything is on I'm gonna turn it off and show you what it looks like that's off still looks good but it just I don't know there's it just looks bland I mean in a way uh, I don't know how to explain it I mean to me I don't know about to y'all but for me it looks bland this way still looks good but it's just kinda bland but if I turn on the sweet FX or reshade and everything boom it just brings the game to life I mean it just looks more vibrant um, like I said it is a heavily tweaked sweet FX file that I use that I've modified and changed and set and it's just keep on doing it all the time uh, to get better results um, but anyway as you can see there it is guys it looks pretty good if you like uh, give me a thumbs up leave some comments uh, you know um, I work really <laughs> I work pretty hard trying to get this to look like this I mean you know after all we are it is a direct x9 game it's kinda hard to you know to squeeze as uh, how do you say to squeeze as much out of it as possible when you don't have you know if somebody would be nice if, if if I knew how to do texturing because if I did I would try to go in and find every single texture in the game that I could possibly find and I would redo every single texture to high definition textures at least that and then we could run it like that even it even I don't know if DirectX 9 would handle high HD uh, textures or does it I don't even know maybe it does maybe it don't but it would still probably look better even if we had some higher re resolution graphics you know some of these graphics really need to be tweaked a little bit there, there's some of them not all of them but there are some that that look like they're you know could use some work but nonetheless uh, me just rumbling on about it but anyway um, like I said uh, 
you need any help or you want to try to get your settings like this or if there's something you missed you can always rewind the video or, or just shoot me a question over on my YouTube channel under the video that you're corresponding to so I'll know what it is and I'll try and get it back to you as quick as possible and uh, hopefully it can help you out if you want to try to you know get your settings like I do basically uh, like I said I am running on a Asus strict 4 gig OC edition uh, I am uh, running 16 gig of RAM I am running a Ryzen 7 2700 AMD and it's not overclocked at all and um, yeah and uh, and I'm just running I'm not even running on an SSD drive this is running on a mechanical drive so um, yeah hope you liked the video hope you enjoyed it as always guys keep on trucking peace